whosoever abideth in him sinneth not, whosoever sinneth hath not seen him, neither hath known him. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. And we know that's talking about Jesus Christ. So, let's begin our tutorial. So, in this tutorial, I'll be going through morphing. It's a really interesting thing. If any of you are familiar with Flash, it is also called shape tweening. Toon Boom kind of has it in a cool way where, well, it seems more precise than not. So, let's begin. So, first of all, I'm going to start by drawing a face. Command face. right and just to show you how it works it works with at least two drawings if you remember coming to your library where you have your drawing substitutions that's what it has to do with right now I have face and I have no drawing here but I'm going to start drawing I want you to note my library so my colors are well I'll lock mine together and I'm going to draw a simple face like a happy face over here right and that's my first drawing now I'm gonna come over to frame 20 and draw another face so every time you draw something new a new cell it creates a new drawing so there's my other face right so I have this face and I have this face now what I'm going to do is do a transition from this drawing drawing one here to drawing two and it's really easy because you have the morphing button over here but this is the button you're going to be using and that button is create morphing another way is the long way where you right click anywhere between the first drawing and the second one you right click on that area right you right click on that area and you go to morphing and you have create morphing which is alt m well let's just go with the shortcut so i'm just clicking here and i'm going to press create morphing here and you'll see it looks like some arrows pointing towards the next frame from the first drawing to the second drawing. Now these arrows signify that there's some manner of transformation taking place. So if I was to scrub through it, you'll see the slow transition from one face picture to the other drawing, right? So you see that there? And that is as simple as morphing gets. Now let's do some precautionary stuff. One thing you have to know about it is that you do not want to you try morphing with different types of colors. So I'm just going to fill this with white. I'm going to fill this one with white. You'll see that my transition seems just the same. Only with color, right? With a white. Now, say for example, I change from white to red for one drawing. Like over here, I change this one to red. And I do a transition. It's going to change everything completely. You see that right there? You don't want that happening. So you have to make sure they're the same color. And by color, I don't mean just the same look color, but rather the actual same palette color. Because if I was to duplicate white here, have a new drawing, right? And this one over here is white. And I come over here and change this one to new zero. Bucket two, and I fill it with well, it white. It's white. Same X, this one, everything. You know, F, 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 and this one is the same. Now, if I use this here dropper tool, it will tell me exactly which one I'm using. So on this one, apparently I'm using new one. This one I'm using same thing. So let me just change 
Okay. Right. So this one is new zero. And that one's filled with this one's filled with white. And this one's filled with new zero. Transition is going to look weird where it tries to do the same thing like with the red. But if they're the same color, white and white, then you should have no problem with the transition here. The same, it works the same way with gradients. So if, let's say for example, I change this new to a nice little radial gradient, nice little yellow faced guy with a little brighter yellow. And I fill it in, let me make sure it's okay. Uh, radio. Right. That's my new gradient there. And I'm just going to fill his face there. And I'm going to come to this one and fill his face here. It'll work okay, you know. You see the center of the gradient moving towards it. It may not be the same case in all of them, but you can use it with gradients too. And that's morphing for you. Hope it's helpful. In the next video, I'm going to try and do another morph where we're going to be creating a simple little wave. So, y'all take care now. Hope this helps. And goodbye.